The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 5th Canto, 5th Chapter, Text Number 3, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on September 9th, 1973, in Stockholm, Sweden. Jiva Muni Shri Krita Sohidartha Janeshu Deham Bharavati Keshu Griheshu Jai Atma Jarati Matsu Na Preeti Jukta Javad Arthasya Loki So it has been recommended. It is not working. What is the use of keeping big, big? Arambha, arrangement is very big, but work is no, no work. What is the use of keeping useless machine? So that is going on in the material world. Everything is babharambe lugukriya. Uh, that has been uh, spoken by Chanakya Pandit. Aja Juddhi Muni Shraddhi. Aja Juddhi. Aja means goats. You have seen goat fighting? Uh, as if uh, though two big, big Heroes are fighting. But as soon as somebody comes, hut! Have you seen experience? Uh, goats and lambs, they will fight. Oh, oh, like this. <laughs> but, but as soon as somebody comes, hut! <laughs> this is one of the examples of Babharam Bhilogukriya. Aramba, as if something very serious is going to happen. But actually it is non-significant. Muni Muni, in the jungle, in the forest, there are munis. So they are uh, arranging for some festival to offer oblations to the forefathers, Sraddha. So what they have got? They have got some fruits and leaves, that's all. So the arrangement may be that tomorrow you are going to have this festival, but the festival means some leaves and some water, that's all. No utensils, no gold, no jewels, nothing of this. So this is another babharam melagukriya. Arrangement is very big, but fact is nothing. And dampate kalahe chayiva. And fight between uh, or quarrel between husband and wife. For, uh, in India, there is no question of divorce. So nobody takes very serious care when there is fight between husband and wife. So there also, I am going to immediately leave you, uh, going to kill you and so many things. But after an hour, everything is finished. Uh, no more quarrel. Dampate kalhai shaiva prabhate mega dumbare. And in the morning, if you see big cloud assembly and thundering sound, but you rest assured there will be no rain in the morning. Hmm. So these things are babharam helugukriya, arambha. Uh, beginning is very gorgeous, but end is nothing. <laughs> so that, that is not good, babharam <coughs> helugukriya. So here it is suggested that in this human form of life, 
you have got two choice either you again go to hell or you go back to home back to god two choice then in by evolutionary process you come to the human form of life after going through 8 million forms of lower grade life then you come to this human form of life when your consciousness is developed you are not exactly like animals the animal propensities are there but it is decent because you have got good advanced consciousness uh, the animals eat we also eat but our eating process is more decent than the animals we uh, have got nice kitchen we can uh, prepare variety of food stuff by mixing so many uh, eatables Uh, because we have got intelligence, we have we can do. The animals cannot. So similarly, sleeping, uh, there are animals. They also sleep. We also sleep. But our apartment is very nice. We have got nice bed. Uh, and improved way. So. uh this life is human life is the sum total of uh, developed consciousness that is to be understood but we are not utilizing it how this developed consciousness should be utilized <coughs> that education is lacking the modern civilization Especially in this age, they are simply busy. Advancement of civilization means uh, advancement of the process of eating, advancement of the process of sleeping, advancement of process of sex life, advancement of defense. That's all. But that will not help us. Just like there are thieves, there are some thieves. Uh, they have they have got very organized system of stealing. Uh, very educated man, scientist, they can uh, enter into the bank safety room uh, uh, with scientific method. They can open the chest, uh, treasury, and take uh, at a time millions of dollars away. and there is another kind of thief they simply pick pocket or burglar when they get opportunity take away some goods from your house uh, uh, in hindi it is called uh, hira and kira somebody is stealing kira kira means kikumba uh, just like we saw on the street And so many houses, there are so many proofs, uh, apples. If we like, we can take it. Uh, but if we take it beyond the fence of that private house, it is criminal. It is criminal. If if you take one apple, it is it has no cost here practically. And somebody is stealing from your box. Hira, hira means diamond. But if these two classes of thieves are arrested, according to law, they are punishable for six months imprisonment. The man cannot say who has stolen one apple. So what is the price of this apple, sir? I have taken one apple. Why you are putting me into jail? But law is there. Even it is apple, it has no value because he has stolen it. It is the property of a private person. So as he has stolen, therefore he is punished. And similarly, 
as another thief who has stolen a diamond worth ten million dollars. He is also punished. Because both of them are thieves. You cannot say that uh, I am thief, certainly, but I have taken, which is practically has no work. No. Similarly, uh, if you uh, become an advanced civilized man simply to uh, make a gorgeous king, Babharambe, of this eating, sleeping, mating, and defending, you remain animal. These, these things they cannot understand. These rascal civilization, they think this is advancement of civilization. They cannot think that with this advancement of civilization, of industry, big, big cities, electric light, big, big road, motor cars, and, but what is the basic principle? The basic principle is eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. Just like the basic principle being stealing, you are thieves. Either you are expert thief uh, uh, for stealing diamond, or you are not expert but you can steal one apple or one peach. Both of you are thieves, so you are punished. You are punished. Uh, the gorgeous thief scientifically stealing from the bank millions of dollars, he cannot say that I am advanced thief. I am very civilized way take. I take at a time millions of dollars. Therefore, my stealing is advancement of civilization. <laughs> These rascals they cannot understand. Therefore we call all of them rascals. <laughs> They may say that we are so much advanced and you are crazy. Uh, yes, but uh, just see, the law is either you are advanced thief or you are cruel thief, you are thief. And as soon as you are thief, you are punished. This is the process. That is the defect of modern civilization. Uh, they are going to hell. And they are thinking they are advanced. This is the dictation. Adanta govi visatanta misram puna puna charvita charvananam puna puna charvita charvan. Charvita charvan means chewing the chew. Actually, you see, the advanced thieves, rascals, I heard who told me in Paris. There are clubs, uh, very, very big men, politicians, businessmen, they go to night club. They pay fifty dollars for entering the club, and they spend hundreds of dollars for wine and oven. Uh, what is that? Turn, topless, bottomless. Just see the rascal dam. Uh, he has got wife. Uh, the same sex pleasure. Again they are going to the night club. Uh, this is called charvita charpa, chewing the chew. The rascal does not know what great pleasure I shall get there in the night club. The same thing. Uh, uh, but they have no other ways of thinking. They have no information that there is another pleasure, which is transcendental pleasure, uh, which is better than this material pleasure. They have no importance. They have rascals. Old man is going also for the same thing. Uh, he cannot enjoy, but he will spend, uh, say, five hundred dollars, hundred thousand dollars for nothing and waste time. This is called charvita charvana. No? And why do they do? Adānta gobi. Uh, go means senses. Cannot control the senses. This is the defect. Uh, because these rascals cannot control the senses, 
remain the same cats and dogs. And just like the dogs, the cats, they can have control senses. Uh, on the street they have sex life. Uh, and human beings also, in the other country I've seen, uh, and the open street, uh, open beach, uh, they are having. Uh, how horrible it is. The puna puna charvita charva. Therefore, uh, this Krishna consciousness movement is needed. To give these rascals the chance of associating with devotees. This is needed. Uh, otherwise, they are going to help. In spite of their so called civilization, motor tire civilization, uh, they will go to hell. But they cannot understand. Uh, they are thinking, ah, these people are crazy. Let us enjoy. After this life, everything is finished. So long this life is there, let us enjoy. Uh, let us enjoy. Uh, that is explained. Jad Indriya Pritaya. Uh, Nunang Pramatta Kuruti Vikarma. Oh, alas, these rascals, they have become mad. Uh, Pramatta. Paramatta means mad. Matta means mad. And pra means prakishta rupena. Still more. Still more. A mad man is not so harmful. He is, sometimes he becomes naked and goes to the street and talks nonsense. That much. But this man, although he is dressing like a gentleman, and talking of scientific and philosophy, but he is simply after this explosion, Paramatma. He has no other. Uh, uh, therefore this word is, has been used. Paramatma, prakishta rupena matta, nunam paramatta kurute vikarma. Vikarma means forbidden, criminal activities. There are three kinds of activities. Karma, vikarma, akarma. <coughs> karma means uh, prescribed duties. That is karma. Just like sakarma in the Bhagavad Gita. Sakarma na tama bharcha. Everyone has got prescribed duties. Why is that scientific understanding? Uh, there must be as I was talking the other day, scientific division of the human society. Uh, the most intelligent class, they should be trained up as Brahman. Uh, less in, little less into they should be trained up as administrator. And less into they should be trained up as traders, agriculturists, and cow protectors. Uh, the economic development requires cow protection, but this rascal do not know. The economic development means cow killing. Just the rascal civilization. Don't be sorry. It is shastra. Don't think that I am criticizing the Western civilization. It is shastra says, very experienced. So, there are so many economic development advocates, but they do not know that cow protection is one of the items of economic development. These rascals do not know. They think cow killing is better. That's the opposite. Uh, therefore, kurute vikarma. Uh, simply for little satisfaction of the tongue, the same benefit you can derive from the milk. Uh, but because they are rascals, madmen, they think that eating and uh, drinking the blood of the cow is better than drinking milk. Milk is nothing but transformation of the blood. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Just like a human being, mother. Uh, as soon as the child is born, 
immediately. Before the child is born, you don't find in the breast of the mother any drop of milk. See, any young girl, there is no milk in the breast. But as soon as the child is born, immediately, immediately, spontaneously, this is God's arrangement. Because the child requires food, just see how God's arrangement is there. Still, we are trying for economic development. If a child is born and God's economic program is so nice, nature's economic program, that immediately the mother is ready with the milk. This is economic development. So the same milk is supplied by the cow. She is actually mother, and this rascal civilization is killing mother. Mother killing civilization. You see. Uh, you suck the breast of your mother from the beginning of your life, and when she is old, if you think a mother is useless, burden, cut its throat. Is that civilization? Uh, so these rascals are doing that. Taking milk as much as possible from the cows. And then, as soon as milk is not stopped, uh, it will again come if the cow is protected, given right uh, nutritious food and protection. The cow will supply you milk so long she lives, as long as she lives. But as soon as they see that the cow, now they are giving 30 kilos, now it has decreased 20 kilos or 10 kilos. Oh, economic development. That is the Economic development. Just see how rascal civilization it is. Therefore it is called Nurang Pramatta Kuruti Bikarma. Bikarma. Bikarma means criminalities. You cannot kill anyone. Just like in the state laws, if you kill somebody, then you will be hanged. This is the law. Life for life. That is sanctioned in the Shastra, Manusangita. When a person is a murderer, he should be killed. Why he should be killed? Because he will be saved from so many dangerous conditions in his next life. That they do not know. They do not believe in the next life. So, Without knowing, without sufficient knowledge, they are declaring themselves as civilized. Ah, that is mentioned here. No long pramatta kurute vikarma. And why they are doing that? Jat indya pritaye, simply for the satisfaction of the tongue. That is also false. If you have got enough milk production, you can take, the, break the milk. And you get the uh, cheese, uh, and from cheese, if you we are daily doing that, you can make nice preparation, chana that is very nutritious, full of protein, uh, and you can make rasgulla, sandesh, so many other preparation from the casing, uh, the cheese, but they do not know uh, crude civilization and take a lump of uh, flesh and boil it and give little salt and black pepper and eat like animal. This is civilization. Uh, this is civilization. Just try to understand. You have to convince your countrymen that what is this civilization, nonsense civilization. Stop this kind of civilization. Learn how to become civilized. Uh, don't claim yourself as civilized man and eating like tigers and dogs and cats. Is that civilization? Uh, but they are doing. Uh, that is stated here. It is not new. 
Always there are there is a certain class of men, demons, who are not civilized, but declaring themselves civilized. Otherwise, how it is it has come into Bhagavad. There were also in that time. Now the number has increased on account of this age. But these two classes of men are always there. Therefore, those who are actually civilized, they are called Aryans. 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 Advanced. Advanced in knowledge. How to live? What is the purpose of life? What is the goal of life? How to live? How to become peaceful? How to become everything? That is civilization. And nūraṁ pramatta kurute vikarma and blindly go on committing criminal activities and a, a nice dress and nice motor car. That is not civilization. Adānta govi viśatāṁ tamasraṁ. They are going to hell uh, under the good dress and good robe. Uh, they are going to hell <coughs> because they could not control the senses. Uh, so don't become victims of the civilization. Try to understand. Nūnaṁ paramattva kuruti vikarma. And what is the purpose? Jat indriya prītaye. The same thing. Indriya prītaye means satisfying the senses. So that already explained. The sense gratification process is already there in the animals. The hogs and dogs, they are also busy in sense gratification. Why you are calling yourself civilized than these cats and dogs? They are also eating meat, just like tiger. And because you can cook it very nicely with spices, you become civilized. But they have taken. No, we can cook very nicely because in the place there is no taste. So it has to be added with garlic, it has to be added with onion and some other, then it becomes little palatable. Otherwise, what is the test of this dead flesh? Suppose if you, but those who are after this blood, they find test. So that is tigers and dogs and cat civilizations, and that is not human civilization. So, the, simply for sense gratification, you are prepared to commit so many criminal activities, oh, and you are passing on as civilization. That's what we say, nūnaṁ pramatta kuruti vikarma jadindriya prītaye āprinoti. Āprinoti. Nasādhu manne, rishabde, say. Oh, my dear boys, it is not very good. The sadhu man. Sadhu means honest word, nice. Sadhu means saintly person. Or good. It is not good. Why it is not good? I am enjoying. I am enjoying my palate. It's very nice. The sadhu man ne jata Atmano ayam asannapi klesada asaddhi. You do not know that you have got this material body. And what is this material body? Material body means full of miserable condition. Who has got a material body, they do not understand what is spiritual body. So suppose material or spiritual, Anyone who has got this body, can anyone here say, though I have no trouble, I am free from all trouble. Is there anyone? Huh? Is it possible to say? What do you think? Can anyone say that, yes, I have got this body, but I have no con- uh, miserable condition. I am always very happy. Is there anyone? That the rascal civilization, they cannot understand. They are trying to uh, stop miserable condition, but he does not know that miserable condition is his body. 
Just see how much fool is this. He does not know that this very body is the cause of your miserable condition. Uh, they do not know. They are trying to improve the condition. How will improve the condition? Uh, just like in our Bengal, there is a word, Jodi jao bhange, kopale jave shange. Just like people are going from this country to that to improve economic condition. But uh, it is a common saying that wherever you rascal go, your fate will go with you. Either you go to uh, England or India or here and there because people are struggling for economic development. But he does not know that I cannot make a, an inch of development uh, beyond the destiny which is already fixed up. Already fixed up. Uh, you don't you see that two men, they are working day and ha- night very hard. One man has become all of a sudden millionaires, and another man, he has no employment. Why? Why did this thing say? Both of them have worked hard to improve economic development, but one has become uh, very quickly millionaire, another is still struggling. Uh, he does not know how to eat tomorrow. Why this arrangement? Who has made this arrangement? Uh, so this is actually study, uh, that you cannot change your fate, already fixed up. The material condition of life, as soon as you get a certain type of body, your pains and pleasure already fixed up within the body routine work. You cannot make any change. Just like the, I have given it many times, the uh, pig, he is destined uh, to eat stew. Therefore he has been awarded that type of body. So however you canvas this pig, why you are eating this stool, take this halwa, he will not take. It will not take. Because his destiny means he has got that particular type of body. So these are finer studies. So according to the body, everyone happiness and distress is already fixed up. You cannot change it. That is called fate. That is called fate. But you can change your fate if you take to Krishna consciousness. That is possible. So far your body is concerned. Take for example, just for all of you, you are accustomed to the Western way of life, uh, eating meat or drinking or illicit sex or so many things. But because you have taken to Krishna consciousness, you have stopped. Nobody can stop. No common man can do it. Is there any possibility? Not possible. Uh, not possible. Therefore, if you want to change your lot, your destiny, then you must take to Krishna consciousness. There is no other way. This so-called rascal nam, philanthropism, this is in, that is in, that will not be able to change your lot. Just like this communist country. Uh, in 1917, I think, the revolution was there, communism. And what is it today? Uh, 1917 and it is 1993, 74. How many years? How many years? Huh? Fifty-six years. They are advocating, advocating this philosophy, what they have done. Now they are going to hold conference, how peace. Why not peace? By your philosophy, this communist philosophy. 
what we could not attain working fifty-seven years, now they will attain by holding another conference. Just see. Just see the rascal. They could not improve anything. There is the same fearful of other countries. I went to Moscow. There all people are unhappy. Their economic condition is not very developed. Simply advertising. I was talking with the Professor Kotovsky. I asked him, please call for a taxi. So he is sorry. He said, Samiji, it is Moscow. It is very difficult to get a taxi. Yes, see. What is the condition of the country? Uh, then he came down personally up to the door and he showed me one shortcut. Samiji, if you go like this, in this way, then you get your hotel. Uh, because he was disappointed to give me immediately a taxi. Now you can understand. Either there is no demand for taxi, people cannot pay for it, that is the fact. Or the government arranges such that everyone is poor man, uh, there is no possibility of thriving in taxi business or getting taxi. This is practical, I have seen. And actually, in no other city in Europe and America I have seen so many people walking on the street. We can study just like there is rice cooking. You check one grain of rice and press it. If it is soft, then you know that now the rice is prepared. So it is intelligence required. So from this taxi affair I could understand that these people are not happy. And another incident I saw that Samsundar was there. He could not collect even a nice rice, nice dal. Only milk was available. Milk and sugar, that is very sufficiently available. No vegetable, no food, no grain. At least men like us cannot live there happily. But they will not get any food unless he is a meat eater. Uh, he will have to starve. The whole world is coming to like that. Uh, and it is said in this hastra, gradually this uh, condition of human civilization will deteriorate to such extent that no more rice will be available, no more wheat will be available, no more sugar will be available, everything will be no more milk will be available. Simply you have to eat the seeds of the... There is no fruit, only seed. Just like in the mango, there is one seed and pulp. The pulp will not be available. Only seed will be available. These are already photo. No fruits will be available, no grains will be available, no milk will be available. Therefore, Ah, if you are intelligent within this short duration of life, you make your Krishna consciousness perfectly done and go back to Krishna. Don't live here. Don't come here again. Take that philosophy. Taktati hang punar janma naiti maamaiti kovati. If one becomes Krishna conscious, then after leaving this body, taktati hang punar janma naiti. Punar janma naiti, no more birth in this material world. Then, when does he go finish? No, ma meti, he comes to me. So Krishna consciousness movement is so important, just try to understand. Don't waste your time. Finish your business of Krishna consciousness perfectly. What about little duration of life you have got? That is stated here. Nunam pramatta kuruti bikarma jadindriya prita e aprinoti nasadu manne. In this way, to waste time, 
is not at all good. Nasadu manne. Why it is not good? Jata atmanayam asannapi klesa deasa deha. Because we have got this miserable condition of life, this body. This is due to our past action. Now, if you create again the same action, then you will have to accept another body. Then your, this miserable condition of life will continue. Will continue. Just finish it. Ah. Therefore, life, the, whatever time we have got, whatever opportunity we have got, we have to prepare ourselves. Ah. No more taking material body. Uh, that is only possible if you are transferred to the spiritual world, then it is possible. And how it can be done? Krishna says, Janma karmam dibbam ju jana If you simply try to understand what is Krishna, simply by this understanding, otherwise you will have to accept this material body if you have got any desire, Ah, to enjoy in this material world. Uh, therefore, bhakti means annavilasita sunnam jnana karma dana vritam. Uh, if you take the path of jnana kanda, karma kanda, or without knowledge, people do not know what is jnana kanda, karma kanda. They are just like animals. So they are desiring like animals. Therefore, annavilasita sunnam. Uh, uh, except uh, uh, becoming Krishna conscious, except this desire, no more other desires. Annavilasita sunna, jnana karmadana, anukulina krishna anusilinam, simply cultivating the knowledge of Krishna consciousness favorably. Favorably. Uh, Krishna consciousness, uh, not like konsa, uh, therefore this word has been used. Anukulena, favorably. Konsa, he was afraid of Krishna. He was always Krishna conscious. Because he was thinking, Krishna may come, uh, may come and kill me. Uh, where he is now? Where he is coming? He, his consciousness was always absorbed in Krishna. But it was not Anukulena, it was Pratikulena. Pratikulena means adverse. He was thinking of Krishna as enemy. So he has, uh, that was particular, but he still he got salvation. Uh, he became merged into the effulgence. Uh, so the enemies of Krishna get that position, merged into the Brahma effulgence. Uh, is that a very good place for the devotees? No. Why the devotees should accept this impersonal Brahma effulgence? They must go. To Krishna directly and play with him and dance with him. Thank you very much.